In this video, you will learn how to solve for the geometric mean of a geometric sequence. Before we proceed, do not forget to click like and subscribe. Remember that arithmetic mean is the term of the arithmetic sequence that is between two given terms. Obviously, when we say geometric mean, it is the term of the geometric sequence that is between two given terms. Example, 3, 9, 27, 81, and 243. The numbers between 3 and 243 are 9, 27, and 81. They are called the geometric mean between 3 and 243. How do we find the geometric mean of a given sequence? To find the geometric mean of a given sequence, we need to apply the formula or the rule we used earlier in my previous video. We have a sub n is equals to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. Consider the given example here. Insert for geometric means between 16 and 16,384. 16, then we will insert for 1, 2, 3, 4. 16,384. Let us identify the given. A sub n is the last term or A sub n is equals to 16,384. A sub 1 is the first term or A sub 1 is equals to 16. n is the number of terms. To find the number of terms, we will count from 16. 16 is the first term. We have second term, the third term, the fourth term, the fifth term, and the sixth term. So, therefore, there are six terms. N is equals to six. And R is the common ratio. R here is unknown. Our target or objective now is to find the common ratio to get the four geometric means of 16 and 16,384. Substitute the given to the given formula. A of n, 16,384, equals A of 1, which is equal to 16, times R raised to n minus 1, n is equals to 6, so we have here 6 minus 1. 16,384 equals 16 times r, 6 minus 1 is 5. So we have here r raised to the 5th power. Divide both sides by 16. 16 divided by 16, 1. 1 times r to the 5th is equals to r to the 5th. And 16,384 divided by 16 is equals to 1,024. Now, raise both sides by 1 fifth. R raised to the fifth power, then you multiply it to the 1 fifth, raised to 1 fifth, so ang natira na lang ay R. So 1,024 raised to 1 fifth, convert that to radical. It is now equal to the fifth root of 1,024. The fifth root of 1,024 is 4. We know that 4 to the fifth power is 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. Limang beses mong multiply ang 4 and you will get 1,024. Now, we have here the common ratio. Our common ratio now is 4. Multiply 16 by 4 to get the next term. 16 times 4, 64. 64 times 4, 256. 256 times 4, 
1,024. 1,024 times 4, 4,096. Therefore, the four geometric means between 16 and 16,384 are 64, 256, 1,024, and 4,096. Next example. Insert 6 geometric means between 640 and 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Identify the given. Ace of N or the last term is 5. First term is 640. And let us count. From 640, the first term, second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term, sixth term, seventh term, and eighth term. Therefore, n is equals to 8. And r here is unknown. Let us write first the formula. Then, substitute the given. A of n is 5 equals ace of 1, which is 640, times r raised to n minus 1, or 8 minus 1. 5 is equals to 640 raised to r, 640 times r raised to 7. Divide both sides by 640. 640 divided by 640 is 1. 1 times r raised to 7th power is r to the 7th power. Hindi natin pwedeng i-divide yung 5 sa 640 kasi ang lalabas ay decimal. Let us reduce this to lowest term. 5 and 640 has a greatest common factor of 5. Divide the numerator and the denominator by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. And 640 divided by 5 is 128. So, this is now the lowest term of 5 over 640. Equals r to the 7th power. Raise both sides by 1 over 7 and convert this to radical. The other side convert to radical. So, it became the 7th root of 1 over 128 is equals to r. The seventh root of 1 is 1. And the seventh root of 128 is 2. So, r is equals to 1 over 2 or 1 half. Next step, multiply 640 by 1 half. 640 times 1 half or 640 divided by 2 since the common ratio is a fraction and the numerator is 1 pwede nating i-divide na lang yung 640 sa 2 para medyo madali 640 divided by 2 is 320 320 divided by 2 is 160 160 divided by 2 is 80 80 divided by 2 is 40. 40 divided by 2, 20. 20 divided by 2 is 10. So, the six geometric means between 640 and 5 are 320, 160, 80, 40, 20, and 10. How to find the geometric mean between two numbers? Example, what is the geometric mean between 9 and 81? Walang sinabi kung ilang geometric mean ang i-insert mo between 9 and 81. So, ang ibig sabihin niyan, isang number lang ang i-insert mo sa 9 and 81. Take note. Isang geometric mean. Iba ang geometric mean sa arithmetic mean. So, kanina, gumamit tayo ng formula. Pero ngayon, pag isa lang naman, ang i-insert mo na number, isang geometric mean lang ang i-insert mo sa dalawang number, 
merong shortcut. I-multiply mo lang yung first term sa last term, then get the square root of the product. So, 9 times 81, we have 729, and the square root of 729 is 27. Since this is a square root, there are two answers. Your answer is positive 27 or negative 27. The geometric mean between 9 and 81 is positive 27 or negative 27. Find the geometric mean between the fractions 1 over 16 and 4 over 25. We will do the same process. Imumultiply natin yung 1 over 16 sa 4 over 25. So, pag nagmumultiply tayo ng fraction, we multiply numerator times numerator and denominator times denominator. Then, extract the square root of the numerator and the denominator since we are looking for the geometric mean. The square root of 1 times the square root of 4 divided by the square root of 16 times the square root of 25. Dito pa lang, pwede na nating makuha ang square root ng 16 which is 4 and the square root of 25 which is 5. Kaya lang, gusto kong ipakita sa inyo yung step by step process. So, equals... The square root of 1 times the square root of 4 is square root of 4. The square root of 16 times the square root of 25 is square root of 400. Square root of 4 is 2 and the square root of 400 is 20. I lowest term mo siya, we have 1 over 10. So dahil naka square root siya, there are two possible answers also. The geometric mean between 1 over 16 and 4 over 25 is positive 1 over 10 or negative 1 over 10. Thanks for watching. This is Teacher Nati saying, Let us thank God for all the blessings that He has given us. Don't forget to click like and subscribe.